Hi, good afternoon, it's me, Teacher Zheng. So today we are going to talk about the ratio. What we have here is a photo with a grid or a scale in traditional art terms. But in my way of teaching kids, I don't usually want the students to measure exactly the photo uh, equals to the paper to enlarge the image. What I tell them is to just create broken lines into a grid section like a nine dots or a tic-tac-toe and then after that one uh, work on the drawing estimate everything and and position it on the paper so they could slowly learn how to evaluate the image since the scale is not uh, correctly measured they will not rely on just putting uh, drawings inside the box they would still have to learn how to balance and measure the drawing through how they see it that's the reason why we I always post check over all balance on the side of the paper besides the drawing so the moment they do the broken lines for the grid and then they start sketching or outlining the image they will still have to look if the image is balanced or not because the downfall of uh, being uh, what they call this uh, learning to draw on a perfect grid is you just have to follow the lines per box on which a student doesn't really learn how to construct a figure or a drawing or check the overall composition if it's balanced or not so what I do to them is just create a uh, broken ratio an estimated ratio so they could learn how to evaluate the drawing if it's a uh, pantai or not if it's balanced or it needed uh, uh, fix-ups and adjustments so they could also learn how to uh, work properly and still be able to draw traditional way without the uh, help or the assistance of the perfect grid or a perfect scale so this is teacher Jane. i hope you learned something from us at studio and you know i'll be back tomorrow for another short art tip may everyone have a wonderful day stay at home stay safe god bless love and peace